So the question is posed, if you're setting the shock absorbers in your car, would you rather have them slightly overdamped or slightly underdamped? <coughs> the context of the question is that we know critical damping means you return to equilibrium as soon as possible. So for example, with m equal to 0.5 and k equal to 0.5, b squared equals 4mk is critical damping. That would be b squared is equal to 1. So b is 1. That would be critically damped. But is it better for your car's shock absorbers to be critically damped, slightly underdamped, or slightly overdamped? Well, let's look at slightly overdamped first. About 1.2. Let's set the initial condition at 3, 3. It's going to make a graph a little more visible. The car returns to equilibrium after a certain amount of time. Let's make it critically damped now. B is equal to 1. Same initial conditions of 3, 3. It's hard to move my mouse here. Critically damp returns to equilibrium more quickly. Now let's try one more time. Slightly underdamped. Let's make it at 0.8. We did slightly overdamped at 1.2. Let's try initial condition 3, 3 again. Watch this curve. And now we're graphing position versus time. Oh my, the position versus time curve. Wow. That seems to return to equilibrium much faster. Now what's really happening? I know that I'm slightly underdamped. So I know that I'm really, in this third curve, doing oscillation about the origin. But because of the decay, the oscillation magnitude gets small very quickly. And essentially, it looks like I'm going through the origin. Yes, I am. And then slightly to blow. In fact, I'm oscillating forever. But because of the decay, it looks like I'm just coming down to zero. So in some sense, it feels like the fastest path back to equilibrium is when you're slightly underdamped. And that's the feeling you want in your car shock absorbers.